This is my Apple Watch, and this is what it will soon turn into. A smart ring. This February, there has been a rumor claiming that Apple is speeding up the development of its own smart ring. And based on what I found, it might be on track of becoming the next big thing. The idea of a wearable smart ring isn't new, even for Apple. Over the years, there have been multiple patents for ring-like devices coming from Apple, so the company is definitely exploring this niche. And now with Samsung rolling out its own smart ring, Apple needs to hurry. Well, hurrying isn't something Apple is known for, so it's safe to assume that the ring is isn't coming out tomorrow. However, there are enough leaks and competitor products to accurately assess the features set of the upcoming device. What we have to keep in mind is that the size of this ring would be really small. So there would be only a small number of features that could be squeezed into the tiny enclosure. For sure, even without leaks, we can say that the Apple ring would be able to track sleep, health, and fitness. I've been using this Aura ring for a while now and it does all that swimmingly. There's a heart rate sensor inside and some clever processing which allows this ring to track my sleep and even exercise sessions. There is also an accelerometer and a gyroscope used to count steps, but Apple would probably go further and enable the ring to count swimming laps like the Apple Watch does. Of course, there won't be any blood oxygen sensors or ECG, but honestly, those are not the features you need in your everyday life. Now we kind of start venturing into uncharted waters, the world of speculations and fantasies, because no leaker has yet come up with a list of unique features. But based on patents and our past experience with Apple's engineering team, we can guess a uh, couple of features such as the Apple Pay. To do it, Apple would just need to integrate a small NFC coil inside the ring, and this is definitely in the realm of possibility. However, Apple Pay by design requires some, some sort of confirmation, so to actually make the ring act as a credit card, Apple would have to either find a way to authenticate the user or allow people to set custom transaction sizes that could be processed without any confirmation. Even though both options seem feasible, I don't think that putting Apple Pay inside of a ring that could be easily stolen is a smart idea. Also, the ring most likely won't need a constant connection to your phone or watch since it has no display and you only need the connection to transmit the data from the ring. This also means good battery life. My Aura ring comfortably lasts me three to four days, so the Apple ring would hover somewhere around that. I guess there's no point in talking about the design, right? It's a ring. How else could it look? Well, every competitor has their own idea, but the differences mostly come down to the finish and small design elements. For example, the Aura ring comes in two variants, one with a plateau and one without. My guess is that Apple won't allow themselves to do anything rather than a typical sleek ring. It could be made out of aluminum or titanium, but there is definitely a chance that another material would be used, such as polycarbonate, aka plastic. Such plastic was used for the iPhone 5C and it was pretty durable. It gets more interesting when we actually start looking at those patents. The first one is dated 2015 and shows a ring that incorporates touch-sensitive surfaces, gesture sensors, and or voice input, camera, microphone, and more. In 2015, that already sounded like something from the future. And even today, seeing a device this small with all these features would be nothing short of a miracle. Apparently, the company envisioned the ring to be some sort of a controller for, for the Mac, Apple TV, and other devices. Devices. I honestly have trouble picturing that as a comfortable experience. Like, how sensitive should that little touch area be to accurately record inputs? But much crazier feature comes from recent patent, which hints that the Apple ring could be used as a controller for the Vision Pro. The patent covers a smart ring that uses NFC to control nearby devices with in-air gestures. And to me, this seems like a logical continuation of that 2015 patent. Then just a week after that patent came another one that was directly focusing on things mounted device with sensors and haptics. That's the title. And this pattern shows a few very interesting features that could be a part of the new ring. Haptics, for example. The ring in the pattern apparently has some sort of a motor to emulate the tap and feedback. But why would a fitness ring need that? Let me just read you a piece. Electronic equipment such as computers and head-mounted display systems are sometimes controlled using input-output devices. Bingo! Apple wants the ring to let us have more precise control over the headset. But what comes next is even better. Wearable devices such as a finger-mounted device that may be used to gather input from a user's fingers as the user interacts with surfaces in the user's environment and may be used to provide clicks 
and other haptic output during these interactions. In other words, if you tap a virtual keyboard while wearing your Vision Pro, vibration in the corresponding finger might make you feel like you're actually touched a real keyboard. It could also make virtual reality experiences more immersive. So this may not be your typical fitness ring, but actually a precise input device. But would this smart ring replace the Apple Watch in the lineup? Honestly, I don't think so. On paper, the base functionality of this rumored ring and the Apple Watch seems similar, so my guess is that the Apple Ring would be an alternative to the Apple Watch. The Apple Watch is a do-it-all device for people who don't want to be disconnected from the world. It shows notifications, you can call from it, they have all those fitness modes for training and so on, but not all people need to have their notifications smeared to their wrist or to track each and every physical activity. Some people just need a device that tracks their sleep and general well-being without intervening with their life. You know, like a spy acting in the shadows? From my own experience, I can say that it is much easier to forget about a ring in your finger than about a huge watch on your wrist. The ring could be a great choice for health-conscious people that don't care about a screen on a wrist and constant connection. However, I have some doubts about this product and that rumor about it being used as a controller for the Vision Pro. Vision Pro actively relies on cameras and hand tracking for navigating the interface. And as some reviewers online said, typing on a virtual keyboard in the air isn't exactly comfortable. Maybe having some haptic feedback could help. Maybe not. So being an accessory for the Vision Pro, to me, doesn't make a lot of practical sense. But until I start thinking about the rumor cheaper version of the Vision Pro, Apple would need to find ways to lower the price. So so getting rid of cameras and precise hand tracking may be a potential route for the company. And in this case, you would need something to control your headset, making a ring not a standalone product, but an accessory included in the box. I don't know, this all sounds really fun and exciting on the one hand, but slightly unnecessary on the other. And how much could such a device cost? When it comes to the prices of smart rings, it's like a wild west. There are options that cost as low as 30 bucks, but also there are more expensive ones, such as my Aura Ring, retailing at $300. If Apple would position a ring as the alternative to the Apple Watch, this could mean a comparable price of around $300, $400. However, to me, it makes much more sense to make it seem like a slightly more affordable alternative and price it around $200, $250, right around the Apple Watch's E. Now, obviously, we don't have any idea when the Apple Ring could be released, but looking at the company's strategy, be best, not first, we could assume that the ring is at least a year away, maybe even two. Apple isn't the company to create a new market from scratch. They're best at finding the market and making the best products for that market. VR and AR have existed long before the Vision Pro, but the Vision Pro is by far the best headset out there. The same goes for the smartwatch market and the phone market. I am sure if it eventually comes out, it would be a hit. It could be a great product both for younger people and older ones, kind of like a fit em all glove. Anyway, you can buy it right now, but you can buy other Apple tech, and we just made a video where we went over every single product that you should not buy. So be sure to watch it next and see you soon.